to you in the silence I will lift you from all your fear Today is Monday, the third week of Lent. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us pray. O Holy Spirit, soul of my soul, I adore you. Enlighten, guide, strengthen, and console me. Tell me what I ought to do, and command me to do it. I promise to submit to everything you ask of me, and to accept all that you allow to happen to me. Just show me your holy will. Amen. Our reading is taken from the Gospel of St. Luke, chapter 4, verses 28 to 30. And Jesus went on, In truth, I tell you, no prophet is ever accepted in his own country. There were many widows in Israel, I can assure you, in Elijah's day, when heaven remained shut for three years and six months, and a great famine raged throughout the land. But Elijah was not sent to any one of these. He was sent to a widow at Zarephath, a town in Zidonia. And in the prophet Elisha's time, there were many suffering from skin diseases in Israel, but none of these was cured. Only Naaman the Syrian. When they heard this, everyone in the synagogue was enraged. They sprang to their feet and hustled him out of the town. And they took him up to the brow of the hill their town was built on, intending to throw him off the cliff. But he passed straight through the crowd and walked away. Our Reflection in today's gospel, Jesus reminds his Jewish neighbors of two incidents in the Old Testament when God reached out to the Gentiles, the non-Jews. We are also invited to do the same, to reach out to those outside of our familiar friends, outside our comfort zone. Who are the outsiders in my life? Am I willing to reach out to them? And today we celebrate International Women's Day. The theme for International Women's Day is choose to challenge. This states that the women are responsible for their own thoughts and actions every day, and they challenge the world every day. The theme further signifies that women can choose to challenge gender bias and inequality in the world. Pope Francis, in his apostolic exhortation, Amoris Laetitia, the joy of love, asks us to challenge and eliminate unacceptable customs and attitudes that oppress women and those whom society casts out. Today, we acknowledge women's achievements we acknowledge all the works that affirm women of their dignity and support them to reach their full potential. We are invited to make the world a better place to live in with equality. Question for reflection. What oppressive religious, political, and cultural mindset towards women am I challenged to change? Closing prayer. Jesus, Mary, and Joseph, in you we contemplate the splendor of true love. To you we turn with trust. Holy family of Nazareth, grant that our families never again experience violence, rejection, and division. May all who have been hurt or scandalized find ready comfort and healing. Holy Family of Nazareth, make us once more mindful of the sacredness of the family and its beauty in God's plan. Jesus, Mary, and Joseph, 
graciously hear our prayer. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I will come to you in the silence. I will lift you from 